All right, so welcome to situation number three in NFL 2K5 Resurrected. So for this situation, this is the, the field goal botch fest game where the Packers and Bengals constantly missed field goals. And in real life, I have the ball on the, 30, on the Packers 39 yard line. In real life, the Bengals attempted a 57 yard field goal, but they missed it. So for this situation, what I'm gonna try to do is help try to convert the fourth down over to a first down and then try to help get the Bengals downfield and then try to kick a field goal. But the Bengals though wanted to go for the win in real life. So I want to, uh, darn controller here. So yeah, this was the Botchfest field goal game. So my mission is to help the Bengals prevail over the Packers. All right, so yeah, just like in real life, it's on the 39 yard line. I definitely will want to try running the ball. I know that. In real life, they kick, tried to kick a field goal to end the game. Tackled and he's short. They. All right. So yeah, that didn't really work. But we'll either way. The over at the 39. <laughs> Smith. Yeah, they just they just plugged the hole one. there, He's and I had nowhere to go. For a while. The Packers start this drive of the game from But well either way, territory. I tried to end this botch fest of the game. I still gotta try to help the Bengals win. Yep, Aaron Rodgers gets sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Rodgers throws a heater and it's complete at the 45. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. So that'll do it for regulation time. We're going to need overtime to decide a winner in this one. Heads. Yep, receive. Definitely want the ball, that's for sure. Third down. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number two kicks it off to begin overtime. Number one fields it all the way back at the one. Tackled at the 20. Number one got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Bengals were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 28 will get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Number 26 with the tackle. Maybe picks up one on go. the play. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Absolutely. Third down, six yards to go. Higgins goes in motion. Number nine hurls a bullet. First down, Bingo. Number nine. It's a nice pass past the D on this play. It's just another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan. And there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. A terrific throw for a big game. Their first try deep this game, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, so the question is, where was their long game in the first half? Number 28 takes it across the line of scrimmage and chews up about four on the play. Number 31 with the tackle. Number 28 gets the call again. And First down. Number 28 got yards by staying so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each other's aftership. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Higgins goes in motion. Uh -huh. Number 87. 
couldn't hang on to this right. one and drops it. Number Incomplete. 87 was the intended Number 87 receiver. had that ball in his Solo hands on that the play, and then he just dropped it. That would have been a big play <laughs> and a big first down, Second Peter. Down they just don't Ball's sync up. Good call. Yard. Maybe next time it'll work. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Number nine. Flight was outside, and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Number 87 had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. That was little atonement for dropping the ball the last time it was thrown his way, Peter. He definitely made sure that he held on to that one. Yeah, much better focus that time around. Tate goes in motion. Tate catches the ball right sideline and they get the first on third and long. Tate turned it outside all the way past the markers and got it. First down, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. You know, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Number 28, he got the carry on second down, and he gains about three yards. Third and nine. I really like the cheers in this game, especially some of the voices. Higgins goes in motion. Lots of down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the marker. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down in the field goal unit is on the field. this botch fest of a game. Number two it's with the 40 good. Attempt, and they take the lead. Number two, not through a good size kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. Late in the game, and they take the lead. That was a very big field goal. As big as they come, Dan. And that is going to do it for this one. The Bengals come out on top, 25 to 22. So a reversal of the of the, what it was in real life. Packers, of course, won this game in real life. But in this alternate universe, I was able to get the Bengals to win. So yeah, got more situations coming, and they're a surprise. So I'm not going to reveal what the next one is. You're just going to have to watch to find out.